indeed uh, very pleased and honoured to be here. Um, I think it was uh, through great foresight of um, Bruce and the faculty to um, widen perhaps the choice of visitor here, not being an architect, to design it, and realise perhaps the value of that to a particular sphere of work. Um, in fact, uh, people have asked me, what am I doing in um, this? <clears throat> and I said, well, I didn't have any choice. Uh, Bruce, I think, uh, helped me in some back alley. Delighted to, to be here and welcomed by faculty and students who made me feel uh, and very comfortable. One of the things that uh, uh, has impressed me in his American attitudes, friendliness, certainly in our own institution and country, we have an awful lot of uptight people. And uh, the degree of informality that you have here uh, within the uh, building institution is tremendous. Um, perhaps that uh, students may not really appreciate that until they perhaps come to England and realise that uh, there are some restrictions out there which uh, prevent uh, certain uh, work ethics to, to, to uh, develop. Um, and one of the things that appealed to me was, uh, I mean, uh, one of the things I've experienced is the, this example of great friendliness is that so the American toilets are gentle and leave doors on. Um, and I know this is excessive gesture of friendliness, but there are certain things I like to do in private. Um, that's one of them. Um, I uh, also um, was returning a car to Sunny. His car he left me, and uh, I couldn't find his house. And so I um, stopped at the house and uh, went on the driveway. And the lady opened the door. And she told me where she thought Sonny lived. I thanked her very much. She thought she was, and it was where Jack White lived. And uh, I uh, then eventually Jack told me where Sonny was, and I returned the car. The next evening, I was at the dinner um, where this. So, this from the White House was speaking, and who should be at my table opposite than me was this very lady who'd opened the door and asked me and told me where to where, to where Sunny where she called Sunny. And uh, I was recounting this story to uh, Charles Sutherfield, and um, I said, "Well, and it's amazing, but the lady sitting opposite happened to be Mrs. Evans." I said. Uh, I, uh, I knocked her up the other day, uh, trying to find uh, Sonny's house, and he burst into laughter and, uh, of course, then explained to me what I'd actually said. <laughs> I didn't say it to her at all, thank God. <clears throat> um, also, uh, the um, Chicago uh, had a great impression on me. Um, Made because of the height of the buildings um, and some other things. But at the end of the day, I was sort of walking around like this, and I went, you know, it's, it's that sort of feeling that you have after you've talked to Charles Sutherfield and Marvin Roseman at the same time of the day. You know? um, and I went in the receptionist, and the receptionist looked up and see, you know, it was really, it was really uh, quite, quite something. I didn't realise how often I was, I was looking up. It was a great city. Um, now, what I'd like to do is try and give a brief uh, picture of the position, national situation in the UK, um, and then I'll focus on to some work of my students, and then, well, first of all, my own work, and then work with students, and ultimately, hopefully, uh, the message or expression of what we're trying to do will come across. We have 29 polytechnics in Great Britain. Um, polytechnics were formed from about 1966-67. And they were the formation of uh, mergers of art colleges, technical colleges, and teachers training colleges. And 
than anything else that I could scoop up in a particular locality. Um, there are 45 universities, and there are 28 colleges of higher education. Now, in America, about 50% of high school leavers go on to higher education. In Great Britain, it's 14.5%. That is the problem that we have. It's complaints of elitist education in many spheres, but believe you me, there are far too many um, kids in, in Great Britain leaving school at 16. They hope, the government hopes by the end of the century to raise it to 18.5%. Well, I don't think that's, that's really good enough. In the next decade, we will actually, um, the number of 18 year olds leaving school will reduce by a third in the next 10 years. So we've got some problems there. And we have just been announced in the English press that um, the all polytechnics and universities will become funded by a different means. Universities are funded privately by the University Grant Committee. Well, that will change. There will be a, a, a neutral board of governors with much greater connections with industry. And the same will happen with polytechnics um, to give greater autonomy. At the moment, polytechnics are part of local authority funding. And we have this sort of strange, I'm an employee of Nottinghamshire County Council. But I mean, they figure in nothing at all, it's a paycheck. Um, so hopefully, we will have uh, greater contact with industry and we'll be able to operate on a more proper funding basis. Um, and as far as funding is concerned, it's my consistent belief that architects, this is in education, architectural students and interior design students um, are not funded properly enough. Out of, we're all in a design area. And you have textile design, engineering, product design, fashion design, graphics, furniture, theatre, and so on. Every other design student makes, actually makes, uh, some kind of uh, replica of what they design, maybe a finished thing, real or a prototype, but it's there for you to see in the field. We don't. We actually survive on selling predictions and some just drawings and models. For the first time in England, we've just had an exhibition at the Royal Academy featuring three of our greatest architects. It was called the New Architecture Exhibition, and it featured the work of Norman Foster, James Sterling, and Richard Rogers. And they not only had superb drawings and models, but Jim Sterling actually had part of his um, Stiles Road uh, art gallery in Stuttgart. It was a portion of the, of the building there, as a, as a, as a you could feel the, uh, the texture of the materials and so on. But uh, there are two things that, are, that impressed me. First of all, having bits of a building on display. But secondly, having the work of architects at a renowned institution such as the Royal Academy, which um, you can focus on the sculpture. So there's a great through there. And also, architects' drawings, as we saw from Michael Gold, he came here a few weeks ago, that uh, architectural drawings have become great um, desired pieces of work in their own right, as people have amongst their own galleries in England selling architects' drawings. Um, things I meant to tell you was that the, the lecture will last about seven and a half hours. Um, this is because there's nearly time. Uh, every so often there'll be a commercial break, because this is what you're conditioned to by the television. So um, then there'll be three hours of questions. Then we'll have breakfast at 6.30. So um, the first commercial break <coughs> is coming up right now. And what we have, folks, is spray on architecture. Okay. Now, believe me, this is this is terrific stuff. 
Um, you can spray on <coughs> Jacobi and any style you like, Elizabethan. Um, you can spray on postmodern. Um, you can spray on, let's see. Yes, Gothic, Romanesque, um, athletic punk, <coughs> rustic, neo vernacular, neo classic, neo plastic, neo silly, munchy munchy. I mean, any any style that you you like, and uh, it's guaranteed not to fade. Um, it'll last forever. It cuts costs. There's no scaffolding involved, no ladders. It sprays up to a thousand feet in a still wind. Uh, you can mix styles. You can overlap any color. It's resistant to fungal attack, environmental pollution. It's resistant to nice people and nasty politics. And if people start to get in the way, you can spray the people and blend them in with the style. It's terrific. And it does interiors as well. This is really great. Uh, and if you're not satisfied at all uh, in that, then we also supply a giant rubber and you can run the whole lot down if you're not satisfied. So, so it's terrific. Uh, there is a government health warning on here. There's 0.1% uh, imagination in this, so beware of that. Just leave it there. That's the end of the commercial break. Um, nonsense here. But, um, now I think it's time that I've gone some slides, please, so we can change our lines. Always uh, told to have a pinup in the slides to keep the audience attention. So um, this is my daughter. It's actually when she was three years old, three four years old.
so firm that it's continental to itself my plant corner, and I'm just responsible for the foyer area, the shops, and so on. And this is just a little uh, kiosk. I was going to go And uh, on the uh, you know, three, three levels, I think 
the planning commission of the rest of the zone of the planning office in Ferrara, which is drawing to this Ferrara here, scaffolding, temporary, temporary scaffolding devices outside of London, the National Rugby World, the White Tower Festival, where all the top people go. Well, we're pulling this up on a Saturday morning, we can't walk in the afternoon. Um, in the morning, uh, the restaurant was still functioning and out. And the restaurant came. The ladies who are in sleep, I used to sleep in the hands of the community. Go, 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 and at their feet, he said, Miss Pan, what's this? I said, well, we're building a monster here, and uh, we're going to have a performance in the afternoon, and I'd love you to come and dance for us. And she said, well, um, we'd love to do that. But I was supposed to be married to him, and he didn't know that. And they were all terribly drunk, but they were drunk, but they signed for me. It was a sorrow. It was a terribly sad sign of the The whole, whole thing, I had the Trinidad Steel Band playing on this stage here. Uh, folk singers, uh, from anybody who wanted to go And then on the next level, I had uh, the guy waving this wing up down. So the wing is flat up and down, you see. Um, this, uh, beam open, so I had another guy pulling the beam open like this. And it's all made out of sort of metal tube and metal fabric. This eye blinked, it had a great lid of it, so I kind of pulling that to blink it. Uh, I hired a smoke machine to find the voltage and uh, plugged it into the building so we have to have the smoke and I had a sound engineer on the top floor and he had four speakers. And I tell you, it was the hit of the afternoon. Um, it frightened people as well. Um, mothers with children would come up and I'd be crying over the fright and say, Can you come and watch me? Or else they come up and say, Johnny wants to hear it again. We were just sort of sitting there having a repeat. They were actually saying something like looking at something. So everyone got up um, and walked again. I mean, it was great. It was great. Uh, all the streets. And there are about 10 bands, jazz, rock, and rock, and folk playing different parts, and people reaching out. The weather is what everything might be a little bit less than the same thing for the everything even the weather from that time, which um, is a, what the students are saying. <coughs> this is a, a bank, it's Coons Bank in the Strand, <coughs> and it's on Charing Cross Station. Uh, and I work on the Garden Court area, which is this area in the centre. Now, we like, uh, well, Phil Lockett is a very complicated story, but this is near Common Garden, the centre of great uh, struggles and issues. There are preservation groups, the Georgian Society, the Victorian Society, that were clinging on to every piece of historical document that could be Originally, Sir Frederick, who was master of the whole book, demolished the whole book. Well, they're trying to get a sign from the roads in the book around. And Coots had a little branch of the book. What Coots did, they brought down the whole site. Um, and it consisted, you know, these are not the local form plans, but it, were, it was just a series of shops with backyards and dustbins and back of town, and back of the road. And uh, so, so many of them the most of all, but this was confused by the preservation groups. So what was done, like a lot of planning, um, there were three there are three frontages. This new front here um, is 
the only new part of what is essentially still an old skin. The old skin was left at the refurbished. So all this stuff is really as 
the operations of the machines and how they work. Now, operation, what they're doing, what the public development plans, 
Yeah, some of the 
networking dark So it relates to the working network. But starting off with the basis that I treat by geometry and meaning into the yeah, very good answer. When we never let anyone ask, or it's made in mind. It seems very, very slow when I all of one's description of things. One might be like, well, because I like it, or because it's nice. Because it's interesting. A nice, interesting, and So it forces us to actually rid it of what is like me. Otherwise, it's a meaning you can have to be doing. Circle to 
single ratio of the answer circle to the golden ratio. So here, what I'm good, trying to do with working in current my studio uh, to do is create as much of a mess in the as possible. I'm not exactly that big as the real as they are. I have to live with a problem with this. And I have to go around to two tiny geometry. They are expressing something much greater freedom. There again, I then um, accommodate the functions that are going in within these shapes. And, and uh, just the fluidity, flowing lines from the center, just represent purely uh, an expression of, of uh, growth. That's all. And, uh, that's what I can do. Take your life as the center, center of each one of these pieces. And then it's just exploring projection uh, lines and geometry into relationships to try and get the things working. This is all, all exploratory. And uh, I think it's 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 fixed. It's a nice sort of thing. We can show perhaps how if one does the initial projections, it's not as though you can design a plan and then just project and get the rule of that. The whole thing has to be a total three-dimensional discovery. So here is a very quick sort of what I can possibly do in this section. I'm dealing with profiles that are being related to the diagonal angles of each of those forms have a diagonal angle, which is the angle between each plane. So each of those angles relates to that diagonal angle of the space. And this is against the score of the score of the score of the then, when one can make adjustments of growth and plot and form and consider again changes in profile uh, and expansion, so from the smallest kind of unit, uh, I hope to uh, grow a little more. And that's just a, that's the end of that big Chicago and this looking for the main top. And uh, this bow uh, is just a uh, I could not uh, believe it. Uh, but I asked somebody who was happy in the street, he said he could believe it. And he lived there. Uh, and it was something that I went to him. The street that the car was coming out there, he their lights on. So it was all very low, but about a sort of time of changing, street changing temperature. Right. Um, now we go on to student work. Uh, what I would like to uh, say at this point.
<laughs> I can hear me go back and forward. It's too much juice. Well, that's something I've never figured out how to do. Oh, shit. Right. I need that. I was just jacking around with it earlier. We're lucky that that's what turns on the wireless mic that you wanted to hear. I thought well, you'd be playing it. We were sitting here and there's nobody here. I thought it'd be funny as ago. Lucky that it didn't seem to have to start talking to us. It's only the freak out. I wonder what he was going to do with that. Oh, yeah, Trying to be regenerated with some 
and their vets are seeking them, they're always seeking for a clinic. Um, and that's what just make up the leaders of being sacked in all cases of that night, and that was corruption. So, uh, but it's about how we rely on the students to show the pump house here, and uh, the pump because that is actually what it is picked up or coming up. Because the solution is being nice, absolutely all. This can be a still the staff who is carrying some of those sketches. One of the writers I have is a film store. Well, the other piece of structure is for the kids to display for it, so we don't really question their own time or their own time. Here, the first class, you have a lot of animation, you don't have to look at the photos that you fall, whatever. And they have an article on trading in on their side or something like that, on the other side. And that's the house, that's the swamp, it's a big sister, which is what we're going to be right now. Great week, they came flying on the water, and the week was opened up. Sort of pop room play, I mean, absolutely extravagant. I mean, it was one of the pop shows for people in the And this is a set rail, railway objects, you see. Um, we've lost a lot of railways over the years, so a fair railway system, probably a leeching accident came down in 1956. Um, we lost a lot of this, it's just a railway in the center of London. And so he chopped it off the line before he chopped off on the other end, made a single entity a computer game center. And with retail out there, somebody, but the main computer, he went through this new building along the top with one room to another, solving problems. If you didn't solve them, you were rejected. You don't go out. Um, and uh, so there's a Sculptor, um, 
the living and working man, so the working on the way around the edge, on living the gifts inside. It was just going to take off and take the night out. The student took up an industrial building, a small industrial building, to go to the and to vote for it. Hope of a very wealthy man, and to be a friend of his, who was at the war, who didn't find that he was a big house in the world. He's also a fellow of the road, over the road. When he had his work done on the show, he came to me and said, uh, um, Can I leave uh, on the first day? Hope we're going to visit the right. I support him to make sure we don't take down the second. Week after I guess he was all that little compromise of the games or the migrate from conference or no mention of being on to me whatsoever in the rest of his family. He goes and he gets a place to all of my demand or he gets a first class section of the mind. He doesn't feel as if what he can have at the end of the world. So this one is um market hall in Lao. A uh, very nice old building, and again, both of the small parts of the units. This is a marriage registry office, marriage desk where it goes, and uh, uh, the uh, young lady who did this um, came straight to school. We do have normally our students at age 19, they've got a one year in general foundation, of course, but I'm just saying that they've got architects all the groups and kind of thing. So, she came straight to school, she was very bright, and 12 O levels, 5 A levels, or now I'm the students have 7 O levels, 2 A levels, and 12. I found she was very beautiful, and she got married. She came into a social representation in a wedding gown.
And he actually had his, his uh, show, the great sail, from the war shark, or he was jotting. And, uh, and so uh, he, he just felt that this would be a seat. Thank you. 
cancellation of the parcel and the communion of the hazard. Next category I call them the spiritual expression. And of course, the Gothic and German style is category of the expressing that very well. And the King's College Chapel is absolutely still in the Cambridge. And I believe that on a sunny day, when it's day glass, when it's the old and the old choir are singing, it is uplifting to say the least. And it's just the, it has this decorated Gothic, it has a simplicity of it. And of course, we've got some pieces of Rome and Moscow, as it's great, so introductory spaces to the world's presence. That's where we're kind of going to be the capital of the air, and this is the my next category is, is the last talk, and it's a beautiful experience. Uh, we uh, have this, this natural, this natural expression of the nature, figurative work. This is actually a, a, a capital of the southern hemisphere, a part of the where I uh, but of course, the Egyptian is used and uh, decorated for the development of the campus being great motifs and beautifully done. But I think that as a student, all this stuff is not really Is it the way of the Yeah, so again, go on. This is a big bit of work. The Syrian design is done. You get much to learn from your order and organization of the books, which shows certainly the natural expressions of the element. Next the category I have is wealth, the expression of wealth. And uh, this marble interior with every connection is this speaking out to this deliberate effort to communicate richness. And uh, the same with this type of stuff. <coughs> and that's all the French cabinet, which uh, <coughs> uh, just last scramble day. Same here. <laughs> These are uh, the famous crescent in barn and right on the wall was used for numerous film locations. And of course, here it's the person. Everyone living here had said this. It was our market house, it was our market territory. So you can't have your thing in the villa. The next best thing is to have the terrace. Series of pieces. I think the, the air differences are still retained in the ability of to squeeze everybody in here except for the walls. Your hops are going downstairs. And my two places. And Palladio also sets it. I mean, all the front walls like that. Stairs and top of the bit over the top. I mean. So my status is the game. The next expression I call the comfort, the security, the comfort side. So it always is our styles and uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's prairie style as well. There's a deliberate concern to relate to nature and feel um, the uh, uh, comfort of smaller windows, overlapping eaves. And uh, it is a room. And of course, the Tudor architecture of the head of Although I think that we look back and think how charming and lovely these were, they were at times of great stress. See, you can play, you can shake hands, and you can go across the street. Uh, and so close, you can just throw the full garbage and scuff out the windows. So, uh, it is, of course, a lot of great fun and love to the next time. But it is the 
reduce new things. A lot of huge reinforced comforts and a wider expanse of nothingness creates insecurity. Greater new things create insecurity. Queen Victoria's railway carriage, you know, that's great uh, comfort something expressed there. And my next category is uh, sort of daring uh, and structural gymnastics where you find a candidate who the word for it, but it's an unembarrassed expression of what we can do, or, which may cause people to be excited. So this is Norman Foster's one of his earlier buildings, the Willis Bay, the Geopark building in Ipswich. And uh, the site, they did a whole series of studies for the site, which now has a very regular mission. And the studies they went through with the box, the low box, the high block box, and various uh, normal common traditional solutions. None of them worked out the economic needs of the budget of the planet um, as effective as building a similar planet. We've got the technology, why don't we follow the river? Let's go right up to the thing. So they went right up to the thing and hold them in a glass all the way around. I mean, it's unheard of to just think of glass, so much glass. The threats of vandalism. Nobody that does no vandalism, nobody breaks the windows. There's a nice thing that there's something to break it. Hold all the glass. So we have inside, well, it's not like that. There's a swimming pool around the bottom for the start, and they can sit outside on the top of the grass or grass roof. But the bottom is here again, it's the use of the lovely glass for the balustrade, which you can't be seen. And if you know, walk into it, they can come the end, I believe they have to put something on there, so some kind of stick there, and make it proceed with us. And of course, the light, uh, it's a positive thing for architecture, and uh, there are glass, and the beautiful. Well, that's the end of uh, the expression. Now, this, what I'd like to say, we've got four and a half more hours to go. Uh, is uh, yeah, this is called the Kings, because I'm playing the city of the Kings. And the, the grid is dominated so much that uh, it's the effect of any line for the sense shopping center. So it's, uh, it's not really. And, and, and this is the other extreme. This is a real Rococo interior. And of course, somebody had to draw everything all there, but the name is drawn. So, really, what I'm saying is, what's going to find this And uh, the top of the garden, uh, the punch and duty part of the world, and possibly. And this is, is the, the best thing that's happened in London. In my and it's the same deal at night. Now, let's. And another thing that we can kind of forget now is the submission to design proposals. We don't produce things that don't have what it is like in the same time of day. And there's a night, and usually there's a night time sensibility. I criticize myself. Well, you don't believe that they have anything to do with it, it's magic. And uh, so, that's the jury. Um, but what they've done here, um, it's absolutely tremendous. Everyone around the top of the garden is always smiling. Um, there's lots of busters and events going on. And it's a tremendous, beautiful way of uh, refurbishing uh, existing structures at this time. The sad is that a lot of shop retail um, places are selling expensive goods. And of course, the poorer people that used to be, and I knew Cotton Garden as a child when it was a good bed market. And um, it was smelly, horrible, it was a no go area. Um, you know, it went. And um, now it's. It's one of the most important indigenous people of the land. 
Yeah, okay. Perfectly welcome to approach Nuni. Thank you. 